Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of your people and say to them, when I bring the sword upon a land. When I bring a war, when I bring terrorism, when I bring the judgment. Yes. Go on. Yes. When I bring the sword upon a land and the people of the land take a man from their territory and make him their watchman. When he sees a sword coming upon the land, if he blows the trumpet. That's the signal. That's the final signal that God, and we're going to talk about that this week, about that final trumpet. But the trumpet is always used of God. From Genesis That's to right. Revelation, That's right. he sounds the trumpet. The, the trumpet. trumpet. The shofar. The tr- sound the trumpet yes. in Zion. That's Zion. right. We sing the song. Amen. That, and yes, exactly. So when he blows the trumpet and warns the people. And the thing of it is, the enemy wants, he, he's, he's, he said, one of the things the Bible warns us is uh, people will just feel peace and safety, you know. Right, Because yes. when they say yes. peace and safety, then yes. sudden destruction. Right. It's not going to, you know, you look at Joseph. What did he do? He prepared. In the midst of seven good years, yes. seven, seven, yes. seven good yes. years on the cows, yes. seven cows, seven fat cows. He had seven fat years, seven prosperous years of plenty, mm-hmm. healthy years, mm-hmm. and they put the food away because Joseph heard from God. That's right. God gave the king a dream of cows. That's right. You say, why God wouldn't use cows? <laughs> no, he'd use one of us peacock preachers or something, you know. <laughs> no, God uses cows. He uses humble things. Yes, he does. He even uses a fish with yes. a coin in its mouth. That's or, right. To swallow Jonah, a bigger one, That's you know. That's right. So it's important, people. Mm-hmm. Let, let, we've got to go on. So if he blows the trumpet and warns the people, then whoever hears the sound of the trumpet and does not take warning. Well, you're saying that too nice. Whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet and does not take warning, if the sword comes, that's the war comes, the army comes, the terrorist comes and takes him away, his blood shall be on his own head. Not my head, not on the preachers, and not the one that warns. The preachers that don't warn, it'll be on their head. And I'm telling you, it's time to get ready. I believe that, you know, if, if you say, well, Jim, you just make me nervous. Jim, you, you tell me stuff that makes me nervous. Just commit it to God. Now, wouldn't you rather have somebody tell you that as you're driving along at 100 miles an hour, where, that you're speeding, you get it back to 55 or whatever it is there, 65. And you're just going along at 65 miles an hour. And all of a sudden, you just go over a cliff in the bridge and you go into a river. And the bridge is out. And somebody says, oh, I forgot to warn you. The bridge is out. Can you hear me? Where's my phone? Here it is. Lori, be careful. Don't go Route 29. The bridge is out. Now, if I didn't tell her the bridge was out, Mm -hmm. would I love her? Oh, well, she falls, she falls, you know. But millions in the church today are saying, don't warn us. We don't want to hear. We don't want to hear that. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But the bridge is out. The crash is coming. The book, the Bible, the Bible warns us Mm -hmm. it's all there 
in the next few shows, we're going to be talking about what is God's word for the rapture? What is, when is it? When does it take place? When does it absolutely say, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to share some stuff with you that I don't think some of you have ever heard before of where the rapture takes place, why it's the rapture. What is the great mystery at that moment? What is the final trumpet? And there's only one bridge across that great gulf. And it's the cross of Jesus yes. Christ. Yes. And as that cross, across that great divide, you can walk to eternity. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins today. And he'll come in. Yes. I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about membership. I'm talking about the relationship with Jesus Christ. To know that he lives in your heart. Yes. 